Next news out of the USA, uh, these Jehovah's Witnesses let their son die by denying him a blood transfusion. So this is frustrating. It's it's frustrating because uh, we've reported on these stories uh, over the past two years um, consecutively. But Jared um, was diagnosed with lymphoma type of cancer back in 1992. Um, and a blood transfusion was actually going to save his life. Um, but his parents rejected it based on um, religious beliefs. And it resulted in his death. Okay, is, why is this not criminal? Why are these people not in jail? Religious freedom? Yeah. So, uh, this is something that, that has been going on for quite some time, not just with Jehovah's Witnesses, but also with uh, Christian faith, faith-based faith healers. Um, they also do the same things with their children. Their children will, will have diabetes or, or uh, you know, something that could have been prevented with vaccines or um, even just the flu and they let their children throw up and they let their children go into diabetic shock and they let their children um, die and and they just stand around praying uh, and well, you know in America this has been protested this has been we have screamed we have done all this stuff but it's just it's ongoing yeah but why is that not obviously criminal like in which state is this uh, the, well, in, in a few different states, you're allowed to do it. Um, every state, Jehovah's Witnesses are allowed to do this. Um, in Indiana and in Idaho, these these religious laws exist that you don't have to do anything against your religious uh, beliefs, so that you don't have to take their children to the doctor. Um, it doesn't. Does it say what state this one is in specifically? Darren saying no. Mitchell saying, as far as I'm concerned, this is murder. It was done on purpose. No faith should get in the way of saving a life. Yeah, I agree. This is this this is technically murder. These people should be charged f uh, with murder. Um, Sabine is saying natural selection. I wish more believers would choose prayer for. And see, this is bullshit because so many children these these children are victims. Right, so they're victims. Yeah. So this isn't natural selection. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, so she's saying, I wish, I wish more believers would choose prayer for their well-being and health. So the thing is that even if it's not, so first of all, as Ali mentioned, it's the children, right? So the children didn't choose this. The parents choose this. The children are paying the price. But and the second thing is that natural selection. I mean, natural selection is a force of nature. That doesn't mean it's a good thing always gravity is a force of nature that doesn't mean that we are in favor of people falling down all the time um so i don't like even but even if it's not the children ali i think they it's too, it's too i don't want people to suffer just because they're stupid it's just it doesn't fit the like just because you're stupid that doesn't mean you have to suffer i want people to be happy including the stupid people right i think they no, I agree. yeah so, so, you know, when people see, when you see stupidity and you get frustrated, please don't let your frustration get so high that you, you lose your humanity, okay? When you get frustrated with people's stupidity, just remember that that doesn't mean these people des deserve to suffer because they're stupid, okay? Try to be kind enough to want people to be happy even if they're stupid. Um, yeah, anyways. But let's see... Uh, Darren is saying this should not be a decision for the parents. It should be a matter for the state to intervene and act in the interest of the child. Yeah, and it's so weird for me to me that the, the most advanced country in the planet still haven't hasn't figured this out, right? Like you think that this is such an obvious decision for the United States to make. Like you're not protecting your most vulnerable citizens, which are children. Like, if you're not doing that, what the fuck are you doing? Like, honestly, like, this is such an easy decision. How is it taking this long? This is the power of religion that makes obvious decisions so hard to uh, turn into law. Anyways, Shriban, did you want to add anything? Yeah, I was like, uh, the last thing you said, like, it is so obvious for the U.S. to make the decision. I mean, even, even people here in India, I mean, when... I was like the other day I was talking with my dad about the Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons and everything in the US and he was like 
seriously us as the shit <laughs> i mean he he actually said that okay i can understand if india has the shit but how can he tell me that us has the shit right yeah yeah Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.